Hello and welcome. In the unique world of private placement, there are more fake programs than fish in the sea. As a beginner in private placement programs, you may be asking yourself, how can I determine which of these programs are real and which are not? Well, with proper education, anything is possible. The reality is, if you understand the intricate details of private placement, you can always spot fake programs from a mile away. By building knowledge, you allow yourself to work more efficiently, qualifying private placement investments and leads far quicker than ever before. In this video, we will help develop your understanding even further, providing invaluable insight on the bank guarantee and its role in the private placement industry. With the recent popularity of bank guarantees, you may have met people who are leasing, trading, or issuing BGs and asked yourself, what are they talking about? Well, since this is a critical question to answer, we thought we'd uncover the facts for our viewers. By exploring the bank guarantees definition, common uses, and other related tips, you will have the education you need to apply all of its benefits. First things first, let's cover the meaning of the term, bank guarantee, and its relation to the private placement markets. By definition, a bank guarantee, or BG, is a debt instrument created by banks which carries a predefined face value, date of maturity, and annual interest rate. For example, you could have a one-year note from UBS, with a face value of $100 million, which will collect an interest of 6% each year. If the investor was to purchase this bank guarantee from the right seller, they could get the bank instrument at a discount from face. And depending on the standards and risk tolerance of the investor, they will usually pay 70 to 95 percent of the instrument's face value to own the note. Once the investor officially owns the bank guarantee, they collect a 6 percent annual interest and the full value of the instrument upon maturity. Even though bank guarantees have similar characteristics to other debt instruments, they are unique due to their high value, flexibility, resale potential, and price. Typically, investors will purchase bank guarantees to collect interest, and in many cases, they use the BG as collateral for loans and other opportunities. The great thing is, this allows the investor to make interest with minimal risk, while still retaining access to liquidity. Though the BG sounds like a good asset to hold, in most cases, bank guarantees are traded repeatedly until the market value nears face value. Since trading these notes can produce much quicker profits, many have now jumped on the private placement bandwagon, aiming for the highest yields possible. In today's private placement business, bank instruments are typically bought and sold in the secondary market. If all goes as planned, the private placement grader buys the discounted instrument from the bank and then sells it to a predefined exit buyer at a higher price. Since this process is based upon prior contractual commitments with the exit buyer, if the private placement trader is real, there's basically no risk involved. To simplify things, let's give you a quick example. If a private placement trader purchases five instruments from the bank per week, making nine points per trade, they would have 45 in weekly yields. Since the private placement grader has contracts with exit buyers protecting their purchases, all they need to do is complete the basic formalities and wait for the money to come in. Sounds great, doesn't it? Well, if you are one of the lucky few who strike it big, it sure is. The reality of private placement is, most people are unsuccessful despite years of efforts. If you're smart, you can meet plenty of millionaires, but finding a private placement program investor with $100 million in liquid can be quite a task. Since this is a fact that many brokers learn early on, unfortunately, common sense can get thrown out the window when money comes a-calling. A perfect example of this can be seen in bank instrument leasing programs, the truth is, 
with investors drooling over for private placement programs like a well-cooked steak, the idea of bank instrument leasing was created so brokers could have something to offer smaller clients. Even if the investor did not get into a program, since the instrument was already leased, the brokers would earn huge commissions from the deal. Sounds a little deceptive, right? Well, though bank instrument leasing can work in rare situations, it should never be considered safe. Remember, most private placement brokers are focused on their own personal interests, not the risks presented to investors. In summary, the bank guarantee is an important tool to understand, but you must utilize it appropriately. Though it sounds great to pay a small leasing fee for a $100 million bank guarantee, it's never worth the time or risk, trust me. If you want to use a bank guarantee in private placement, the truth is, it must be cash backed with $100 million or more in value. In addition to that, the instrument must be lodged in a bank which is willing to complete an MT760. Despite what other private placement brokers may say, these are the facts of bank instruments, and if you try to believe otherwise, well, have fun. Remember, the private placement and bank instrument markets do exist, it just takes education, experience, and intuition to be successful. The most important point is, never set a time limit on your efforts. If you make the decision to never give up from the beginning, you will eventually reap the benefits of private placement, no matter how long it takes.